In this video, we're going to be looking at another redox titration. Okay, so we want to calculate the value of X in iron sulfate. To do that, we need to work out the MR. Let's say the MR was 241. We could then subtract the value of iron sulfate from both sides, leaving you with X times H2O, and then divide both sides by water. Water's value is 18, so that will give you 5. So to work out MR, we need to know mass and moles. We know the mass already, it's 12.18 grams, however we haven't been given the moles of iron. So what do we do? First of all, we'll look at the question and identify the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent. So we have manganate and iron 2 plus. In the question, 12.18 grams of iron sulfate is put into a beaker, made up to 500 centimeters cubed, and then a small 25 centimeter cubed sample is titrated with manganate. 43.85 centimeters cubed of 0 0.01 mole per diem cubed manganate is required. Remember, we want to work out moles of iron. Now, we can't do that straight away. However, we can work out moles of manganate. So we're going to use a formula that concentration times volume over 1000 is equal to number of moles. Now that we have moles of manganate, we can use our overall equation for manganate and iron 2 plus that the ratio is 1 to 5. Now remember, I explained how to create this overall equation in the first introductory video on redox titrations. Times the moles of manganate by 5 to give you the moles of iron 2 plus. Remember, this is only in 25 centimeters cubed. Our original solution was 500 centimeters cubed. That means the original solution had 20 times more moles than the 25 centimeter cube sample. So times it by 20 and that gives you the number of moles of iron 2 plus in the original 500. This is the moles of iron 2 plus. Now that we know the moles of iron, what about the moles of iron sulfate? The ratio is 1 to 1 because iron sulfate has only got one iron in its formula. So therefore the moles of iron sulfate is also going to be 0 0.0439. Okay, so we know the mass of iron sulfate which is 12.18 grams and we also know the moles which is 0 0.0439. We can use our equation that MR is equal to mass over moles to work out the MR of iron sulfate. Then let's try to work out X. So first we'll start by subtracting FeSO4, iron sulfate from both sides. That leaves us with X times water, divide by 18 to get rid of the water and that leaves us with seven. And this is the final formula of the hydrated iron sulfate. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.